5,000 feet below us. Right here, you can see him right there. And the uh, the battery itself, huge battery. We get home from uh, being away for a week, and that huge box is in the middle of the, the entrance to the house. My wife dragged it in. It's like 95 pounds of. Every six months, we go to simulator uh, training where we. We go, uh, you know, practice all these uh, drills and skills and uh, handling and solving problems of non-normal situations that can happen with the airplane. Take a look, it's pretty cool. Holding pattern. One airplane up below us. Entering the holding and beneath us, 2,000 feet below us. Right here, you can see him right there. I told you in the past every six months I go uh, for a simulator training this time it's in London I'm walking in the streets of London London just finished dinner and there's something really cool I want to show you it's something with video video art a clock that's uh, video projected really cool let me show you And it's true at a time, it's now 8, 8.30 in the evening. How cool is that, huh? It goes on, it's live, on and on. This is the simulator that we're using. And let me just show you what a simulator looks out from outside when it's, when it's operating, when it's moving. It's this huge box and it sits on six hydraulic uh, uh, stilts, I would say, and it moves according to a computer that tells it. So it simulates pretty much uh, the feelings and motion of an airplane and inside there I'll show you there's uh, screens there's video screens this is our specifically 787 we use British Airways uh, uh, simulator simulators and right now we're uh, what you see is a video screen behind behind the the windows of the cockpit and what you're seeing is vi uh, a video uh, screen a video a movie that's being projected and it looks just like real and it's like a panoramic, a few video screens all around the cockpit. There's another, and it looks really, really real. And when you're flying, it simulates, you know, the visually, it visually simulates what you're seeing, the, you know, the instrumentations and things outside. And the fact that it moves, uh, the, whole, the whole box we're standing in or sitting in, gives uh, together with the visual feeling, with the eye, and the sound and the movement, it, it simulates the real, the real feeling, the real flight. And then we get back to our briefing room, debrief the flight and learn from our mistakes. Obviously we all do mistakes. I do less than others, but 
<laughs> my colleague here is laughing. I'm not going to show his face because, oh, yes. there he goes. So, yeah, well, and we debrief and we learn from our mistakes and we, are, we get better and better every time. Anyway, so I got back home and out of the blue, uh, I get an email from uh, Me Bike PR guy saw my video with the installing the handlebars and he said, uh, try it out, try this bike. This is actually, I've never had an electric uh, bike and it's pretty cool, it looks really exciting. So I'm gonna put it together and test it out and tell you all about it. 95, 90, 92 pounds, 92 pounds, 42 kilos. too bad let's put it together i'll do it uh like slowly and explain all the stages so in case you need to get that bike you can uh follow my steps step one unbox the box easy Ta -da! very cool it's got fat tires i think it's kenda kenda fat, fat tires shimano seven speed gears it's got disc brakes a 750 watt motor in the hub over here and it's got a huge 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 battery they can pretty much uh, ride i think 60 miles 60 miles of uh, pedal assist <laughs> that was close let me show you how nicely it's wrapped how nicely it's packaged uh all parts oh yeah it's got uh, i didn't even say that suspension rear dual shock suspension and front forks with suspension this is the shimano shimano altis it's got these crusade kenda crusade fat tires really cool really nice yeah let's put it together i can't wait rory from me bike i'd like to I'd like to thank you man i really appreciate it it's a really cool cool little gift thank you so much and actually it's really fun because i've never never been on an e-bike front fender made some from some sort of a polymer hope it drives and rides as well as it pa it's packaged because it's they did a very thorough and good job over here packing everything Look at these wheels, magnesium wheels, disc brake. And this is the heart of everything. This is the, the battery. Oh, nice. Look how nice the battery here is integrated into the frame itself. That's actually very nice. Look how nice this frame is. From what I understood and what I read, it's aluminum, and the uh, the battery itself, huge battery, is inside the frame itself. So, and look at look at the welds over here. Look how nice. Uh, look how look how nicely it's it's built. Really nice. Goes right over here. Let me see if they sent. Uh, that's the little TFT screen. Pretty much like a Harley, a Harley LED, almost like a motorcycle. How cool. Hey, what a pleasant surprise. They actually, they actually provide the tools, the tools needed to set up the bike. Wrenches, Allen, Allen key set. That's very nice. Owner's manual. And obviously, uh, probably instructions how to set it up. But you know, what? I'm gonna just follow my, follow what I'm doing, and and just copy what I'm doing, and you'll set it up. That's the front uh, axle for the front uh, wheel. Pedals. Oh, that's the charger. Charger with their little logo, Me Bike. Pretty cool. The handlebars with uh, these bolts over here for that they actually provided 
the Allen key set. This is actually very cool. I like it when companies go above and beyond just, you know, to provide whatever is needed. Look at this key set. Like, look at this set. I don't know if they did it, uh, if they designed it, but it, I guess it has everything over here. Like even sockets. Let me show you right here. Even sockets. Okay, as, as I was uh, taking these bolts off, I just realized, noticed, this, the front suspension even has a uh, compression compression uh, adjustability and rebound it's got a lot of good quality uh, parts building this bike bolts in and the last one right here they got all four of them in I'll tighten them uh, finally later when I decide how I like to position you know that's the throttle so they call it a half throttle because it's, you know, half of the, the grip. Let me take this off. Huh? Well, over here I got the big uh, spacer or the big uh, spacer over here. But here I need to get the small spacer right there. Right here between the disc and the fork. And I got the fork itself, I mean the disc itself, between the two pads of the brake. There you go. There you go. Got it all in place. So like you see over here on the right side, the big spacer or bushing. Here we got the small spacer, the small bushing. And the disc is right between the brake. And over here we're gonna have a washer and a bolt. The washer and the bolt. Same thing other side. I have too many threads on this side and not enough on the other side. So I'm loosening this up and tightening on that side. Got a nice amount of threads over here. Nice amount of threads over here. And it's sitting nice. Now let's put the fender on. Oh, fender goes right here. Oh, that and here. Let me get the... How the front fender looks, where this part is too far out and this part is too low, simply this determines how this will sit. So if you lower this, so, so if you lower this, look what happens. Lower both sides. So this whole thing drops down. So I put it right under this little nipple over here. I put the brace and now it's nice and nice and even both sides from the front and from the back. Not too low, just below this little nipple. Now I'm gonna tighten this and we'll go to the back. We need to put this in place. This goes here. Keys, those keys lock, lock the battery over here. Oh, well, let's put the pedals on. Now let's go for the for the rack. Okay, let me point out a minor issue that just happened and uh, what you should do as well. These two bolts came up, installed both sides and these two were not. It would just would not fit. It's such a tight fit. This whole structure is like, it's flexible. Now, I don't know if this moved during shipping or whatever. I simply had to take all four out. Then I started with the bottom ones. These two. Well, actually, I started with the top ones. Started with this one and this one. Just threaded it in just slightly. And then put the bottom ones in. And you got to work it a little bit. Moving it around. It's, Finally get it in, but it's it's not it's not an exact tight fit. There was no need for anything else except for brute force. So now remember, take all four bolts out and uh, finagle with it till it actually fits fine. You don't need to over tighten it because it's aluminum, don't forget. Let's put the headlight on.
Now, how do, oh, I guess this is how you turn the bike on. There you go. Me bike, I don't know, the battery. Woo, look at this. Look at this screen. I don't know how to play with it yet. Oh, and the battery is completely charged. That means we can actually, oh no, it's 42%. I'll figure out the, the uh, all the different modes. This is just like the install, like the uh, unboxing and putting together the bike. I'm gonna charge the battery uh, and do a little walk around. And uh, during the walk around, I'll write all the specs because I don't remember them. I don't remember them by heart. And stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna do. We're gonna test it out, do a review, ride it, have fun. Oh look, it's got a. It's got even a brake. Uh, a reverse light. Wonder if the brake. It's got a brake light. Oh yeah, when you brake, it actually blinks. It's a disc. It's a disc. Yeah, it's a disc brake in the back. A disc brake in the front. Okay, still need some air in these tires. I need to find my pump from uh, when I moved. Oh, I see it. Take the owner's manual back home, read a little bit about it, so I'll be able to give you. I have, by the way, I have a link down by the description. If at this stage you already want to go ahead and buy it. This looks like really cool. I did not test ride it yet. From what I've seen and the research I've done before I actually asked them to send me the bike because I want to make sure that I'm getting a decent bike that's good and I can feel comfortable, you know, reviewing it and not be disappointed. It's got a lot of good good parts on it so i'm gonna go take it over there ride it over there and walk around and that's it there's a link down by the description by the way that gives you anyway it gives you a 200 dollars discount and and me it gives a small uh commission if you decide to buy one anyway ride it over there Let me get the camera. So my phone died on me before I could get a chance to do a walk around. I had to go, go into the house. I brought the battery into the house to charge it up. Looks uh, actually really, uh, I would say substantial. The, the charger has a little, even a little cooling fan. The battery itself, from what I read, is made up of uh, like smaller battery cells made by Samsung or LG, which is uh, quality batteries, from what I know. This one is... Uh, a 48 volt, 20 amp hours, uh, and it's uh, the total of 960 watt hours, which is a very big and strong uh, battery. They say it can last between 40 to 60 miles on a charge. There's a little button over here that you press and it shows you like it's 50, right, it's half charged pretty much. I'm gonna charge it all the way. And red light, I hear the fan. Two of you here on the side of the red. Red light set. bridge and uh yeah i'm getting over here i'm going to uh, visit my daughter helping her out with something uh dave do you hear me dave dave yeah dave wally don't don't look surprised dave wally congratulations brother have a good retirement 
Now, go go and hug your wife. Go and hug Veronica. Dude, uh, why am I reaching out to Dave uh, Wally? Well, his wife uh, contacted me a few weeks ago, and Dave is one of those guys that I like. Uh, public servant, uh, public service. The guy is just retired, just going out on retirement. He is the chief of police in uh, Kellogg, Idaho. And his wife reached out to me and said, can I do something? And I said, yeah, sure. And then I simply forgot about it. So he just retired a few weeks ago. And uh, Dave, go and give your, your wife, Veronica, a big, big hug. Uh, you can have a great retirement. Go ride your Harley as much as you can. Stay subscribed to the channel, watch. And thank you so much for your service. So that's it guys, uh, quick walk around with uh, the install, check it out. Next video, I'm gonna be riding it and uh, tr going to full speed, see how long I can ride it. If it really stands up to the 40 to 60 miles, I'm gonna test it out really big time. I'm Sandy watching Holy Shift guys, till the next video, peace out. Yeah.